I guess I missed the memo that it's National Excuses Day because it's literally all I have been hearing. You know, um, oh, I don't want to eat my, my egg whites. Um, my diet's too hard. I don't have time to work out. I don't have time to do cardio. I can't do this. I can't do that. I don't want to hear it. <clears throat> you know, if I can do it, you can do it. Okay, yeah, this is like my job. But, you know, I have 90, you know, I only have like maybe 10% of my clients that, you know, complain about these things. The other, you know, 90% has is either like, you know, self-employed or, you know, has like a really high stress job and they still get it done. So like, I just like, stop with the shit. You know, there is no excuse good enough to make me feel sympathy for you. You know, even, <clears throat> you know what, there's guys out there that don't even have legs that are like, make me look like a little bitch, okay? They still do it. You know what, if guys like that can do it, you can do it. Nobody wants to hear, you know, how you don't have time or how you don't want to eat, eat, eat diet food. You know what, it's fucking hard. There's a reason that only, you know, one in 10 people out there are walking around jacked or like ripped or, you know, skinny or whatever. It's because it's not easy, you know? That's why 60% of America's fat. You know, so like if you want to be fit, like if you want to have abs, if you even want to stand a chance of being fit, you have to just suck it up, go to the gym, cook your meals, eat your meals, do the same thing every day. It's not fun. It's not a walk in the park. It's not meant to be. Again, like I said, if it was easy, everybody would be shredded as fuck and they're not. Okay, so if you want that for yourself, if you really want that for yourself, you need to put some work in. All right.